Hi everybody, my name is Taylor and I'm an educator at MOCA and today we're going to be talking to you a little bit about Qingming, which is the spring festival, and also about an uh, art project that you can do around Qingming. Um, so like I said, Qingming is a spring festival. Um, this year it happens on April 4th and uh, Qingming means clear brightness and it's basically a day to celebrate your ancestors, um, your family members who came before you. So a lot of people will go to the grave sites of their ancestors and um, bring things with them to offer their ancestors. A lot of times that's food items, cold food items. So today the project that we're going to be doing is making cloud clay and you can use that cloud clay to sculpt your own food items. Um, and even make an imaginary picnic maybe that you would take with you. So, to make cloud clay, it's really easy. There's only a couple ingredients. One is cornstarch. Um, this is something you can find at any corner store or grocery store. Um, you might already have it at home. And then the other item is conditioner. So, it's just conditioner for your hair you use in the shower. Um, again, something you're probably gonna already have in your house. Um, now this clay, it's, I'll show you, I have some that I pre-made. Um, it actually lasts pretty well if you keep it sealed nicely in a bag. Um, this is some clay that I made yesterday. Um, and you can see it's really simple, similar to um, air dry clay or like model magic kind of consistency. So it's really soft and sort of almost feels like fondant too like that that kind of consistency um so it's really fun to play with but you can also sculpt it into things like i mentioned so um this is something that i sculpted yesterday and you can see like it held up there's not even any cracks on it um and usually when i make this with kids it's something that we just play with in the classroom um but you can also sculpt it and leave it out to dry. You can also add food coloring to this um, if you wanna make clay that's several different colors. And um, I recommend sort of using it like Play-Doh. So you play with it for a while, sculpt something, pack it away, and then use it again another day. But obviously still can also be dried out. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing you're going to want to get is your cornstarch. Um, the amount that I have here that I made yesterday is by using a half a cup of cornstarch. Um, and I think that's a pretty good amount. Um, you could do a little bit less, but um, really if you're doing one batch, I wouldn't recommend doing more than half a cup per kid or per person. So we're going to measure out half a cup of cornstarch. Doesn't have to be exact. So there we go. We got our half a cup of cornstarch. Going to want to put it in a bowl to make it easier to mix. Um, this cornstarch, it's pretty um, powdery and it can sort of get all over the place, but it comes out really easily. Um, you just have to brush it off wipe it off and um, it cleans up really quickly but it might while you're using it sort of seem like it's getting all over the place but very easy cleanup um so you have your we have our bowl with our cornstarch next um we want to add the conditioner so i don't really measure when i add the conditioner um it's really more about mixing the cloud clay and feeling it to know that you have the right amount. Um, but really just doing like two big squirts is about enough. So there we go. 
got two squirts of conditioner in there. Um, now comes the mixing. So you can use a spoon or a popsicle stick, something to mix it up. You can also just go right in with your hands. Um, I'm going to use the spoon today. Uh, especially, you know, some kids, some people, they really enjoy getting really messy and dirty. Some people, not so much. So if you're a little bit wary, a little bit worried about getting too messy right away, I definitely recommend starting with a spoon. Um, and you really do need to, it is easier to tell if it's working if you're using your hands. I'm going to add some more conditioner to mine. But basically, you're going to keep adding a little bit of conditioner at a time and mixing together your cornstarch with it. Um, the best way to mix these ingredients is to really just pick it up and sort of smush it all together so that it has to combine. Um, and obviously, as you can see, you're going to get pretty messy while this is happening. But... Once the cloud clay sort of comes together into the clay, like the example I showed you from that I made yesterday, um, it'll really sort of take all of the everything off of your hands um, and all just sort of stick together and come together. So now I've added three squirts of conditioner at this point, and you can see it's kind of a crumbly consistency. Um, so that means getting pretty close to the, what we want it to be like. Um, you know, if I squeeze it, it is sort of staying together, um, but it's also crumbling apart. So I'm going to add just a little bit more. There we go. Keep mixing it. Yeah. All right, so now you can probably see it's sticking together a lot better. Nice. And like I said, um, this cloud clay it's something that's really fun to just play with um, and sort of sculpt things out of it, play with it, and then um, you can store it and put it away. Um, if it does sort of start to dry out a little bit, you can always just add a little bit more conditioner to it. Um, if it starts to feel too um, chalky or too like starts to, to feel too dry, um, it's really easy to just add another squirt of conditioner in there. Um, and it is really fun to try different conditioner scents. Um, so, you know, this project, we were talking about Qingming. If you want to make, say, like a tangerine um, or a flower out of your cloud clay, you could get um, conditioner that actually smells like that. Um, and of course, like I said, too, you can add food coloring. Um, to really make it match what you're sculpting. Or so you can sculpt all sorts of different things in different colors. I will say if you're gonna add food coloring, yeah, it will get on your hands when you're mixing. Um, and it will wash off after a few days, but your hands might be sort of dyed. Whatever color food coloring you chose for, for at least a couple days. Okay, so I had to add a couple more squirts of conditioner to my conditioner clay, to my cornstarch, but you can see now I'm very messy, but also my clay is looking great. Um, and you can also see that it is picking off the cloud clay that I have on my hands. It's sort of picking it up. Um, and if you have it on your table, you can also just 
sort of pick it up with the cloud clay a little bit. Um, and yeah, now you've got your cloud clay, your next step would be to make something Qingming themed. Um, like I said, it's a spring festival, so flowers or maybe some of your favorite foods. Um, and you can even make a, a picnic and have it inside your house. All right, so thank you everybody.